All right, so today's project is to uh, get this area all buttoned up. Um, this is the uh, kind of a little bit of the overhead space above the driver's seat. Um, basically, when uh, we got it, there was just one doorway, one cabinet sort of opening here, only half the opening, and it had just kind of some safety gear in there. Um, so there was all this, basically this whole area all right here was just completely just covered over. Um, so what I did is we uh, probably saw in a previous video, um, bought a uh, window that I put in. Got it covered up right now for the light here. Getting a lot of sun in here and it's quite warm, but got these covers just kind of covering it up so I can uh, do my work for today here. But uh, basically those happen to fit right in there perfectly. Anyway, um, so what I got to do today, I put in, we put in security uh, cameras, uh, both on, on the front, the sides, and in the back. And we've got all that wiring. This is the one for up front here. I can give you a quick look at that. It's right there. That'll be uh, wired in. But there's one in the back and on, bring it back up here. This guy here. So we can keep an eye on what's going on outside if we got everything all closed up and uh you know stealth kind of stuff we can keep an eye on things those are infrared so we can see what's happening outside and at night if we got raccoons or bears or who knows what so anyway but um got some insulation in here um i'm also there was a space here above the uh, uh door and the mechanism for the door and uh the door the mechanism only covers I don't know if it's uh showing Put that in there. You can see it only goes a certain distance here. So there's all this kind of wasted space up above it. So I'm also going to utilize that for my uh, battery system for our solar. And uh, I'll have cover that in a future video here shortly. But we've got speakers and so and we've got wiring and everything else kind of running all through here. So I've got wires for the camera. Cameras all coming together and that's going to mount here. Um, or on the dashboard here, so I've got to have all those wires terminating here, so I'm going to deal with that here today. You know, have a spot for for the speaker here, and uh, have it come across where I'm at. I'll check in after we get a little further. Vanderboom here. Um, to clarify that a little bit for anyone who's wondering, uh, my name is Vanderboom. It's, uh, and uh, so uh, we decided on our name based on just changing one letter. Worked out pretty nice. It's another long hot day here and uh, way early in the season, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, um, wrapping up today, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about what I did and uh, the material that I used. Um, I used this absolutely beautiful western red cedar uh, that I got 15 over 15 years ago at, a, at an auction, uh, incredibly cheap. Um, I'll show you here what it is. Uh, most of it is this, it's called five quarter, almost a full inch thick, this, these pieces like this. Um, and like this one here, on this, this top piece, as you can see, is all one big piece of beautiful straight grain. It's called clear select cedar. So basically the highest grade Western red cedar that you can get. And I got a, a pant load of this stuff. Um, like I said, years and years ago at an auction and I've been moving it around and dragging it from garage to garage and location to location forever waiting to find a good use for it. And uh, now we're actually getting to, getting to put it into our gorgeous uh, shuttle bus conversion. Um, so as I mentioned earlier in the beginning there, we, we put in this window uh, back uh, a few months ago now, which is horribly dirty from what I'm noticing, but, um, excuse me, decided to 
open this all up again there was only one this was completely covered there was no no view out of this at all and there was only a small area here that was utilized at all so now um, we're going to have a nice little place here for, for Buddha to sit and uh, keep an eye on things and uh, some, a little bit more storage for who knows what. We'll figure that out as we go. And uh, a couple of spots for some speakers. Uh, these ones are not the ones that we're going to end up using. They're just the old ones that are still here. And uh, But again, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And right now, I mean, this is totally unfinished. And uh, so it's going to end up with a, a, a nice oil and then a beautiful... Uh, uh, polyurethane on it so the color is going to come out of it far a lot more it's going to be a really beautiful red when it's all said and done so uh, I just wanted to do an outro yeah, I haven't done any of these yet I seem to always just sort of wrap up with pictures so I figure we're gonna start doing this right get to let you know what's going on so western red cedar gotta love it